Welcome back to Reading Children's Books with Kids Book Pub and Publishing Our Children's Stories. So, speaking of stories, funny story is I am, or I was, trying to get everything edited for the video uh, for Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, which is what we're reading today. And I had the hardest time getting it to load correctly. So, I was having the worst time, and I just kept thinking, of course, this is the book that I'm having the hardest time on. Very bad day. So we're going to attempt trial number four, at least, of getting Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day up on YouTube for everybody to see. Now, this is a classic. Uh, at least, you know, this was a great story when I was younger. I uh, absolutely loved it. And I haven't read it in years, so I am happy to share it with you now. All right, diving in. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Ellie got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to get car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. And at counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that... Philip Parker was his best friend, and that Albert Molio was his next best friend, and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had a little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess whose mother forgot to put it in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it said Dr. Fields. Next week, I'm going to Australia. On the way down the stairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy, and then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was being a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, Mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. So, when we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers, Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes, Nick chose red ones with white stripes, I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, We're all sold out. And then he made me buy old. Plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine. 
but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. It was terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner. I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. I hope you enjoyed our reading today, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If there's a book that you would like read, go ahead and leave it in the comments section. Or if you have your own story that you would like shared, um, if you're a self-publisher or you published your, one of your own children's books, please go ahead and leave it in the comments section. Or you can email me at publisher at childrenwritingchildrensbooks.com. And I'd be happy 